a second race here at Otoy. It's the Grade 1 Juvenile Hurdle. Uh, over two mile, one furlongs here. We've got Bold Highlander for Martin Liedem and Bonfire Schweel. Uh, two outsiders, Cool Beg About, a more fancied runner for Martin Liedem. Faraway High, Thomas Rogers, more of the same. Joshua Sutherland, Naked Twister, Craig Beckwith, all 100 to 1 outsiders. We've got Red Point, the favourite, unbeaten for Darren Thompson. Terrible King, Thomas Rogers, Wait and See, Craig Beckwith, Classy David Hooley, Corey Bell, Mike Westwood, Crusade in Baranka, Craig Allen, Jailbreak, Leon Van Rensburg, Little Coke Grand, Derek Hinton, Marcel Germain, James Shea, Medine, Alex Cherry, Newlands, and Nigella Lawson for Paul Rhodes. Paperweight Finder for Davy Ladd, Royal Portrait for Jim Murray, Charmaine Entry, Mike Westwood, Stirred Not Shaken for Ryan Tamasebi, and then the last runner there, as they go off and running, uh, is Zone Zero, and sorry I just missed the trainer of that one, but Zone Zero completes the lineup of 23 horses for this two mile one film, so they come in the first flight, and awful mistake from one of the outsiders, Bonfire Schwale, and a uh, poor mistake by another one there in the middle of the field. I think it might have been one of Paul Rhodes's uh, contenders. Perhaps it was Nigella Lawson, the black horse in the middle of the pack. But we've got a fascinating juvenile race here. A lot of these horses coming in at a big price. And that's probably because some of those horses uh, at the top of the market are really well fancied after some great performances. And all eyes are on red point here. The horse for Darren Thompson, who's won uh, both of its first starts. It's looked super impressive and is the early Andy Post favourite for the Triumph Hurdle. But we know that Leon Van Rensburg thinks the world of Jailbreak as well and really fancies that one to go well today. That horse currently racing in uh, around third place but puts in a slow jump there. Uh, and you could see that Red Point and the two Paul Rhodes horses in the green and uh, yellow just moved up past that one. And Jailbreak just composing itself back in the middle of the pack now. Still travelling well but was a bit slow. Uh, as I was mentioning for the champion trainer, that one's really well fancied. And Crusading Baranka, another one of the horses that arrives here, having finished second on both starts. The grey horse in the green and gold hoops for Craig Allen as they come past the stands. Probably in around 10th place at the moment, racing in the middle of the pack. Um, and can that one go better today? So as they come over the next bonfire, Schweel got over it, but perhaps wasn't quite as quick over it as Corey Bell, who you can see has now moved forward to close the gap as they swing left uh, left handed and head away from the stands uh, out into the forest here at Ote and there's a nine furlongs left to go so it is quite a tight circuit that they've got to go and there was a couple of mistakes there in the middle of the pack again and uh, Nigella Lawson wasn't particularly great over it neither was more of the same for Joshua Sutherland but again no real serious mistakes so far apart from the early one from Bonfire Swale a couple of these horses just putting in juvenile type jumps and being a little bit hesitant and not being particularly quick over them but there's been some great hurdling so far from Red Point that horse just looks like it's all class and you can see how it's easily and very smoothly just come into second place there and now being joined by Jailbreak the jockey on that one doesn't want to give this star juvenile any kind of easy lead or first run on it and it's Jailbreak that's actually moved up to go alongside Bonfire at Schwale and passed it in fact to now take up the lead so with five and a half furlongs left to go and over that next flight it's Jailbreak that's in the lead Again, a couple of slow jumps towards the rear of the field, but Jailbreak looks like he's got a few of them towards the rear of the field in trouble. Just having a look to see if anything is going to come bursting out the pack. Marcel Germain's put in a couple of really good jumps there for James Shea. I think it might be the trainer or Thomas Rogers, and that one's suddenly burst and gone straight into the lead. Bonfire Schwale, after some sketchy jumping, has fallen and is no longer in the race, and we also lost Naked Twister as well. So things have chopped and changed up front. Is now classy for David Hooley, takes up the running and bursts past Marcel sale Germain jailbreak still traveling well looking for red point who has perhaps been a bit outpaced or is just being ridden with patience at the moment because it was in second place and has now dropped back into about seventh or eighth so we've got a one and a half furlongs left to go now and it's classy that's in the lead here come jailbreak more of the same crusade in barank has now burst into the lead for craig allen the gray horse and we're inside of the final furlong but red point is still battling on on the outside and staying on really well joshua sutherland still in this with more of the same jailbreak's got going a bit too late and isn't going to get there quick enough for Red Point and more of the same of Pass Crusade and Baranga. Red Point wins it! Red Point has made it three out of three. I'm sure we're going to need a photo finish to confirm it, but surely we're seeing the Triumph Hurdle favourite here. Red Point, even when it's looked beaten in races and it's looked like it's been struggling, its class has shone through and the 15-8 favourite has burst home down the outside, stayed on really well. Great run for more of the same in second place. It looked like that horse 
was the one that was going to deny Crusade in Barranca, but Red Point flashes home on the outside after a really good jump at the last to make it 3-for-3 three three for Darren Thompson. More of the same in second. Crusade in Barranca third. Jailbreak only fourth for Leon Van Rensburg. And Newlands completes your top five for Paul Rhodes. Nothing else was really in it.